Dr. Carlton Bruce. I'm the dental director at Cabarrus Rowan Community Health Center. Dental hygiene is just proper maintenance of your overall oral health care. Um, it includes brushing, flossing, using mouth rinse, and seeing your dentist regularly. Just like seeing your regular doctor for regular checkups, seeing your dentist for regular checkups is important as well. Um, the best tool in our arsenal is early detection of any problem. It's much easier for us to prevent a problem than it is to correct a problem. By maintaining your oral health at regular intervals, we're able to get ahead of any problems that might be developing. Coming in for your regular cleanings is gonna to help to prevent gingivitis. It's gonna reduce plaque buildup and prevent a lot of issues that are going on. Early detection of cavities means that they're going to be simple fillings as opposed to larger fillings or even possibly extractions. Basically, just regular maintenance keeps you from having greater problems later on down the line. So the consequences of not maintaining your oral health starts off slowly with minor problems and then can progress into larger problems. Typically the way that this starts off is that your gums usually have the biggest issue. A lot of people who haven't been properly maintaining their oral hygiene often start with having bleeding gums, um, odor coming from their gums, which then leads to uh, just a mouthful of decay. Um, eventually if this decay goes on or goes untreated for a long period of time, that leads to uh, larger cavities that could potentially require either root canals it could result in dental abscesses, extraction of your teeth, and that's pretty much it. So what a lot of people forget is that the teeth aren't detached from the body. A lot of people want to separate your oral health from your overall health, but that's just not true. Um, any kind of bacteria that are found in the mouth circulate within the bloodstream and can cause issues in other parts of the body. And this is particularly important um, for pregnant women as well. And just because, again, whatever you do that's good for your body is good for your baby that's developing. Poor dental health can also have negative consequences on your cardiovascular health. For me, what I found with my patients is that it mainly actually affects their overall uh, positive attitude about themselves. Um, having good dental hygiene, having good teeth, um, it's a part of your identity. Your smile is one of the first things that people notice and it carries so much of your character over to every one of your encounters. So for me, it's not just a physical concern, but it's also a concern for your overall mental health and well-being.